सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन we will see how normal distribution reduces to standard normal distribution and also we will solve one problem so a continuous random variable x is said to be following normal distribution if its probability distribution function is given as equal to f of x equal to 1 by 1 by sigma times root 2 pi times e to the power minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square this is the probability distribution function for normal distribution important things which are to be noted here are sigma sigma equals to standard deviation sigma equals to standard deviation and what is the sigma equals to standard deviation and what is mu mu equals to mean mu equals to mean so what is variance can you tell me what is variance variance equals to sigma square variance equal to sigma square so now what we will do is we will see the curve for the uh, normal distribution the normal distribution curve so the normal distribution curve looks somewhat like this this is the fx and on the x axis this is x so the normal distribution curve is always symmetric about mean so mean equals to mu so this will be mu it is symmetric about the mean so now what we will do is we will convert this into standard normal distribution to convert this distribution into standard normal distribution we will take the variable z so z equals to x minus mu divided by sigma this is what we will take z as so if we substitute this z then what we get is f of z f of z equals to 1 by root 2 pi 1 by root 2 pi e to the power minus z square divided by 2 this is the equation for standard normal distribution So this is the probability distribution function for standard normal distribution. Now important things for this are the mean of the standard normal distribution mean equals to zero. Mean for standard normal distribution equal to zero and variance the variance for standard normal distribution equals to one. So the mean for the standard normal distribution equals to zero. The variance for the standard normal distribution equals to one. So these two are very important points for standard normal distribution. That is, the mean will be zero and the variance equal to one. Now we will see the curve for the standard normal distribution. So for standard normal distribution, let this be f of z and let this be z. So as I have said that the normal distribution curve is always symmetric about mean but for standard normal distribution the mean is zero hence this curve will be symmetric about mean which is zero now let's study the area properties we will study the area area properties these are very important because with the help of this area properties we can just solve the problems without even looking at the curve or doing any calculation we will simply solve the problem by knowing the area properties so what are the area properties so let me mark some points over here this is 0 this is plus 1 this is plus 2 and let this be plus 3 similarly this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and let this be minus 3 so by area properties i can write probability from minus 1 to plus 1 from z greater than minus 1 to z less than plus 1 this is equal to 0.68 now you will ask how am i getting this value well i have got this value by integrating this function from minus 1 to plus 1 if i integrate this function from minus 1 to plus 1 what i will get is the area in this region i will get the area of this region if i integrate from minus 1 to plus 1 i should get the area of this region this is equal to 0.68 similarly if i do the same from minus 2 to plus 2 if i do it from Minus two to plus two, I will get zero point. I will get zero point nine five. Zero point nine five. And for minus three to plus three, for minus three to plus three, I will get zero point nine nine. These three are standard values, and you should remember them in order to solve certain standard problems. So now what we will do is we will see some easy problems. So first we will solve an easy problem. What is the probability from z greater than equal to zero? to less than equal to 1 so let's try to solve this with the help of the graph so one important thing is the entire area under the curve the total area under the curve is equal to plus 1 the total area under the curve equals to plus 1 so the area in the left hand side is equally divided between 0.5 and 
0.5 the area is equally divided the, on the left hand side it is 0.5 and on the right hand side it is also 0.5 and the curve is uh, symmetric about the point 0 because it is a standard normal curve so now uh, they are asking the probability from 0 to 1 so from 0 to 1 I have to calculate remember that I have asked you to memorize these three so from minus 1 to plus 1 it is 0 0.68 that is from minus 1 to plus 1 it is 0 0.68 so this area this entire area this entire area I know it as 0 0.68 so if I want if I want to calculate only this portion what I need to do I need to simply divide this by 2 so this will be simply 0 0.68 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.34 so this probability is nothing but 0 0.34 so see if you remember these three things you do not need the graph also you can easily calculate it if you have a clear concept of the image so let's solve another problem what is probability z greater than 1 z less than 2 how will we calculate this so let's hel take help of the graph so now I am explaining this with the help of the graph but in reality if you remember these three if you remember these three and if you have a clear image of this you can solve them mentally also but here I will show it with the help of the graph so to calculate this what we will do is uh, from 1 to 2 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so I need to calculate this area area is what I need to calculate that is z between 1 and 2 so I know probability of z minus 1 to plus 1 what is this this is equal to 0 0.68 I know this already then this is from minus 1 to plus 1 so if I want only this part if I want only this part and if I want to neglect this I need to divide it with plus 2 so probability of z from 0 to z from 0 to plus 1 this is equal to 0 0.68 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.34 so this is equal to 0 0.34 so now I know probability z from 0 to 1 now I need to find probability uh, z from 0 to 2 probability so let me write this probability z from 0 to 2 how will I find this so again we will take help of this one this second one that is probability z from minus 2 to plus 1 what is this this is equal to 0 0.95 so from probability from z from minus 2 2 plus 2 this is equal to 0 0.95 if I divide this by 2 if I divide this with 2 what I will get I will get this so if I divide this with 2 what this becomes 0 0.95 by 2 is 0 0.475 so this is equal to 0 0.475 and what is this this area is entire area from 0 to 2 this entire thing so from this entire thing if I subtract subtract this part that is from 0 to 1 then I will get this white shaded part so so what is the entire thing entire is 0 0.475 and what is the part which is shaded with blue this is 0 0.34 so if I subtract this with 0 0.34 what will I get I will get 1.35 so this is probability for z greater than 1 z less than 2 this is how I can calculate the probability z greater than 1 less than so this is equal to 0 0.135 so just by remembering these three we can calculate so many problems now we will solve another problem so this problem says the annual precipitation data of a city is normally distributed with mean equals to 1000 millimeters standard deviation 200 millimeters what is the probability that the annual precipitation will be more than 1200 millimeters so first what we will do is x denote let x denote annual precipitation annual annual precipitation annual precipitation so now what we will do is we will convert this x into z because they have given in normal distribution but we need to convert to standard normal distribution in order to use this area properties in order to use this area properties we need to convert the problem to standard normal distribution so for standard normal distribution z equals to x minus mu divided by sigma this is z equals to x minus mu by sigma so what is x they are asking what is the probability that the annual precipitation will be more than 1200 so x greater than 1200 so equivalently I need to find what this means in terms of z 
सो लेट्स पुट एक्स इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ओवर हियर माइनस व्हाट इज म्यू म्यू इज मीन मीन इज गिवेन एज थाउजेंड मिलीमीटर्स सो दिस विल बी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा व्हाट इज सिग्मा स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इट इज टू हंड्रेड सो डिवाइड विथ टू हंड्रेड सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड बाई टू हंड्रेड इट इज इक्वल टू वन सो जेड इक्वल्स टू वन सो आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जेड ग्रेटर देन वन बिकॉज दे हैव आस्क वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द एनुअल प्रेसिपिटेशन विल बी मोर देन टूल्व हंड्रेड सो जेड ग्रेटर देन वन बिकॉज एक्स ग्रेटर देन टूल्व हंड्रेड रिलेट्स टू जेड ग्रेटर देन वन वी हैव सॉल्व इट बाय दिस सो पी जेड ग्रेटर देन वन दिस वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट वॉट इफ आई टेक हेल्प ऑफ दिस कार्व यू कैन सी दिस इज जीरो दिस इज वन दिस इज टू आई नीड टू फाइंड दिस एरिया फाइंड दिस शेडेड रीजन दैट इज पी जेड ग्रेटर देन वन सो आई नीड टू फाइंड दिस एरिया सो आई नो दैट द एंटायर एरिया आई नो दैट द एंटायर एरिया ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिमिलरली द एंटायर एरिया ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज ऑल्सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो सिम्पली फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव आई नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस एरिया टू गेट द एरिया विच इज शेडेड विथ वाइट सो वॉट इज दिस एरिया दिस एरिया इज सिम्पली पी जेड ग्रेटर देन जीरो लेस देन वन सो हाउ वेल हाउ विल वी कैलकुलेट दिस वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस बाई नोइंग दिस डेटा सो पी ग्रेटर देन जेड ग्रेटर देन माइनस वन लेस देन प्लस वन इज पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो पी जेड ग्रेटर देन जीरो लेस देन प्लस वन वॉट विल दिस बी दिस विल सिम्पली बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू बिकॉज दिस ग्राफ इज बिकॉज दिस ग्राफ इज सिमेट्रिक अबाउट जीरो दैट इज द रीजन वाई आई कैन सिम्पली डिवाइड दिस विथ टू सो इफ आई डिवाइड दिस विथ टू आई गेट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर This is 0.34. This is equal to 0.34. So if I subtract 0.34, that is this area, this area, I am subtracting from the entire area. Then I will get the area shaded with white. So this is equal to 0.5 minus 0.34. So what will I get? This will be equal to 0.16. So probability z greater than one is 0.16. That is the probability of Uh, the annual precipitation more than 1200 mm this is this is equal to 0.16 so what we have done in this video is we have solved one problem we have also seen how to calculate this probabilities and we have seen what is standard normal distribution and normal distribution so with this i end this video thank you